Okay, so we're looking at semester two exam from 2015 and the first question we're looking at is um, internal controls. So we've got here prepare a bank reconciliation for TSO Enterprises Limited. Now, what we need to look at is the information that they give us. So obviously bank reconciliation is the way we go. So Robert is a merchandising manager for TSO Enterprises. During the month of October when the TSO Accounts Payable Manager was on holidays, Robert was responsible for receiving the goods that he had ordered as well as making payments for the purchases. The entity recently received a bank statement for the month ending 31st of October 2015. The bank statement showed a closing balance of 16278 According to TSO's Enterprises Accounting Records, the balance at the cash bank ledger was $8,803. The comparison of the accounting records reveals the following. The accountant deposited $2,075 to the company's bank account on the 31st of October. This amount did not appear on the bank statement. Bank fees and charges of 210 were recorded in the bank statement but not in TSO's accounting records. Previous months, um, which was the September, bank reconciliation stated an outstanding deposit of 250. This amount appeared in the current month's bank statement. The bank statement included a debit entry for the amount of 840 for a dishonoured cheque. This amount is yet to be adjusted in the accounting records. Two, uh, 2,500 note receivable was collected by the bank for TSA. The bank charged a collection fee of 60. Interest received was 120. A deposit of 525 was noted in the bank statement. Upon further investigation, the accountant found it was um, incorrectly deposited. This amount in the account, the bank already expect, uh, accepted the mistake and advised the company that correction would be made in the next month's bank statement. And then there is some um, outstanding checks. All right. Now, when you're presented with a question like this, obviously I've highlighted some important information up here. We're talking about the month end and we're talking about um, the cash at bank and the bank statement balance. So I've got a couple of things there. And all these items here are either reconciling items or adjusting items. So these items 1 through 7 are either a reconciling item or an adjusting item. Now an adjusting item means we adjust the accounting records. Alright, now a reconciling item obviously means we carry it in our reconciliation. Now that's what we're then preparing at the end here is a bank reconciliation. So let's go through these and work out if they're either an adjusting item or a reconciling item. So once again, it's a classification exercise. The accountant deposited 2,075 into the company's bank records on the 31st of October. This amount did not appear in the bank statement. Adjusting or reconciling? Reconciling, yep. Bank fees and charge of 210 were recorded in the bank statement but not in TSA's accounting records. Adjusting, yeah. Previous month's uh, bank reconciliation statement showed an outstanding deposit of 250. This amount appeared in the current month's bank statement. Ooh, okay, we'll put it into as an adjusting, but it was in last month's reconciliation, so it won't be carried forward this this month. I'll call this a rec, but it's no um, no longer needed. So that's for that one. The bank statement included a debit entry of 840 for a dishonoured cheque. This amount is yet to be adjusted in the accounting records. Adjusting, yep. A 2,500 note receivable was collected by TSA uh, for 31st of October. The bank charged a collection for a 60 and interest of 120. Adjusting or reconciling? Adjusting. And hear a whisper. Thank you very much. You can yell it out. Alright, a deposit of 525 was noted on the bank statement. Upon further investigation, the accountant, by the accountant, found, was found that the bank incorrectly deposited this amount into the account. The bank had already accepted the mistake and advised the company that the correction would be made in the next month. Adjusting or reconciling? Reconciling, yeah, this is a difference. 
So reconciling creates a difference. Adjusting means we're fixing a difference. And the following checks are outstanding. Adjusting or reconciling. Reconciling. Beautiful. That's the hard work. Okay, so what we're now going to do is now we're going to adjust the bank um, statement. So we'll need to do a ledger account. So, whoops, bank account. Whoops, you can't see that. There you go, bank account. And now we're going to make the adjustments. Now the first thing I need to do is I need to pick up this piece of information here. Balance is, is 800 and $8,803. And now we're making some adjustments. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to make an adjustment. So the bank fees charged with 210 Now we've called this an adjustment. Am I adjusting a debit or adjusting a credit? Credit, yeah. So bank fees... Two hundred and ten, and I can tick that one as done. Uh, this is no longer needed, so that's okay. The bank statement included a debit entry for eight hundred and forty for a dishonoured cheque. This amount needs to be adjusted in the accounting records. Is it a debit or a credit adjustment? De credit, yep. Okay, so dishonour of eight hundred and forty. So I can tick that one as being done too. Now a note receivable was collected by TSA. The bank charged a collection fee of 60 and interest received was 120. Is this a debit or a credit adjustment? Okay, so we, we received this amount. So it's a debit adjustment of, how much is it? So 2,060, 2,600. So it's 2,560. Uh, uh, note received. Uh, tick that one as off. Reconciling and reconciling. So now I can come up with a new closing balance. Who's fast on the calculator? Can someone add those two together for me? Should be 11,000 something or other. 11,363. That means we have to balance back to 11,363 this side. So what's 11,363 less these two amounts? So my closing balance will be 200, that's 1,050, 10,313. So the difference between, so if I add all those up, they should come back to 11,363. And it's this figure here that I'm going to carry forward into my bank reconciliation. All right.